I feel very privileged to have this opportunity to introduce for induction into the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame, Cy Talon. Now, Elva Nelson's wife, Kay, said that Cy told her that it is pronounced just like Taylor, but you drop the R and you put an end on it. And so that's good authority for me because uh, even though through the years I saw the name, I never was quite sure how it was pronounced. As a 25-year veteran of rodeo announcing myself, I feel a very personal connection and respect for Cy. Even though I'm not sure that I actually heard him announce a rodeo, uh, I am wanting to think that I did hear him when I was as a, a youth at the Match of Champions in Dickinson or another of the major regional rodeos. At least that's the way I want to remember it. A few years back, I read a book titled Rain or Shine, written by Cy's daughter, Syra. I'm sure that that biography was greeted with mixed emotions by other members of his family because it presented Cy as a real person, not just as a rodeo star with lots of glitter. It presented his life with no holds barred. All of us who have rodeoed know either first or second hand the difficult and demanding mistress that the rodeo road can be. In spite of the many pitfalls that rodeo can have, Cy maintained his premier status in rodeo announcing for over 40 years. His style of announcing was to portray the contestants, both man and beast, as athletes. He gave them dignity and saw his task as educating and enlightening the audience about rodeo as a serious professional sport. He did not succumb to the standard of other announcers of his day and even some in this day and age by demeaning the sport with barnyard humor and cornball jokes and excessive distracting patter with the clown. Cy's approach was serious and convincing. He demanded respect for rodeo and he achieved it for himself. For these reasons, his resume still is envied by announcers today. Just a few of his accomplishments. He announced the very first and a total of nine NFR rodeos. He did the Denver National Western 33 times. He did the San Francisco Cow Palace Rodeo 30 years. He was elected Rodeo Man of the Year in 1965. The North Dakota Rough Rider Award was also awarded to him. His impeccable dress earned him top 10 honors as one of the Western Apparel Association's best dressed men in 1970 and 71. The URI retired from announcing in 1979 he was inducted into the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame. To accept the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame Arts and Entertainment Award on behalf of Cy Talon's family is Terry from Augusta, Montana. Figures the wind would blow when we start talking about rodeo announcers, I guess. I can assure you, Walter, that Dad was very real. And why he may not be what was depicted in my sister's book, there's a lot of stories right around here that can be told about him. I know he'd be very proud today to be a part of this celebration with all of his friends and to be inducted into a hall that includes so many of them. I know he was proud to be from North Dakota. I found that out the hard way one time. My brother and I were both born and raised in Montana, and as school children, it's kind of common in Montana to tell North Dakota jokes. I brought one of those home to Dad once when I was about in the fourth grade, and I can honestly say that was the last North Dakota joke I ever told. And I can assure you my younger brother has yet to tell one in his lifetime. But I've got a feeling that Dad, were he alive today, would be more pleased with this honor than any of the accolades that he's ever received to be going into the hall with so many of his great and good friends. And I've got a feeling up there in heaven somewhere, there's a bunch of cowboys sitting in a corner and a couple of Schnells and a Father Cassidy and a bunch of other people that are looking down on this gathering today 
and are mighty pleased with what you're doing here in Medora. Thank you for honoring my father. 